Hey, so my name is Stefan and I have a YouTube channel that's called Safe Motions where I try and promote health and injury-free running. And my background is a therapist, I'm an osteopath. I'm based in Vietnam and I work in a hospital and so many times I see people getting injuries for the same reasons in particular in running. So instead of repeating the same thing to my patients day in, day out, I thought, if I share it on YouTube, then, um, you know, I'd be able to touch more people uh, in one go. Nice. Perfect. So you are a, a runner yourself as well? Yes, uh, I'm a runner. I've been running for about 25 years. I started, I'd say, rather late, but um, it's been pretty much on and off. I've had, I've had times where I ran a lot and then times where I was running less, times where I was injured and spending um, a lot of a lot of my week of work at the physiotherapists as well. So, you know, nobody's perfect. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do then is I've got 13 quick fire questions just to find out a bit more about you and, well, basically your running. So I'm cool. ready when you are. I <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready, but go ahead anyway. <laughs> okay, so the first one is, do you measure in miles or kilometres? Kilometres. Uh, do you prefer running on the road, the trail or the track? Trail. Uh, the next one, do you prefer sports nutrition or real food? Oh, interesting. Um, real food, of course, but then during a race, sometimes you just don't have the choice. So sports nutrition... First and foremost, real food, if I can. If not, then sports and uh, Do you prefer flat routes or hilly routes? Hilly. Always hilly. Ooh, Otherwise, nice. it's so boring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you prefer training late at night or early in the morning? I am not an early person, so I guess late at night if uh, I'm not too tired. Okay. Middle of the day, is it possible? <laughs> <laughs> nice. um, so what's your bucket list race, that one race you might really like to target and do? Mm, on the bucket list, I do have I do have a desert run, a multi-day event, uh, but that's a bucket list for, you know, later when I'm over 60, I want to be able to do one. Nice. Any particular desert race or just any? I... Um, I already did the Atacama and I think I would like to go across the Atacama again. It was nice. uh, an amazing race, yeah. Nice, brilliant. Uh, do you prefer a short, fast training session or a long endurance training session? Long endurance, I think less likely to get injured, so yeah, I'd rather those. Do you train with music or without? I train mostly without music. Okay. I, sometimes I do race with music just to kill time. Um, do you stretch regularly? Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> this is the one yes. that catches a lot of people out. <laughs> oh, define regularly because that depends. Um, I stretch uh, within a week. I do stretch at least once. Okay, that that could definitely be regularly if you do it every week. Okay, cool. <laughs> yes. Uh, do you prefer training in hot weather or cold weather? Cold weather. Nice. We're, we're never happy. It's always hot here, so. <laughs> uh, do you prefer an isotonic drink or plain water? Um, ah, that's a tough one. For, for taste, I prefer isotonic. Mm -hmm. For health, I prefer, uh, I prefer plain water just because um, I, I don't run that far these days. I don't need isotonic or electrolytes, <laughs> rather. Nice. Um, what is your go-to post-race food? Oh, I'm not hungry after a race. Okay, bananas. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And the last one, if you couldn't do your current sport, what would your alternative sport be? Um, is being a gym rat a sport? It could be a sport. I've had someone say badminton, yeah. so definitely being a gym rat can be one. <laughs> <laughs> then gym rat, I guess. 
Perfect. So, yeah, those are my kind of 13 questions. Some of them are, are your basic cool. bog standard ones, but I just thought it would be mm -hmm. nice to throw some little thinkers in there. Um, the do you stretch regularly one does tend to catch people out and you can see them go, oh, it it's something I should do, <laughs> but I probably don't do enough of. <laughs> so that's yeah, a nice little, um, a nice yeah. little one. Definitely. Yeah. One to catch out, but. Yeah, yeah you, you even caught me on this one. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> it's a great initiative. Thanks uh, for doing that. And thanks for having me. It's really cool. I like your setup. I like the baby Yoda. It's really Thanks. <laughs> yeah, he's, this, this is setup number two. Setup number one, I kept getting really bright lights. So I just faded okay. into the background. So I've had to move it over here. And this is just kind of where baby Yoda lives. So now he's just chilling in the corner <laughs> of all my videos, which is brilliant. But um so yeah, thank you very much for taking the time to do this. I'll let you get back to the rest of your day. 